Eh. Eh. What do we... Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, Jerry. What? What are you doing? What? Stop doing that. Let me show you two simple knots. All you need to know when you go bass fishing. All right, y'all. When I go bass fishing, there's only two knots that I use. One is the uni knot. Two, the Palomar knot. Both super easy and super strong. And they'll keep those fish on the line without snapping. And today, I will show you how to tie them and go over a couple of applications on when to switch in between the two. All right, y'all. So for the practicality of the video, I've got a big rope and this water bottle. We're gonna pretend like this water bottle is your fishing hook or lure. First knot that we're going to learn today is the uni knot. So for the uni knot, you take this line, you put it through the top of the hook. I, okay? Now, you take this end and make a loop. Hold it together. Notice how this end is on the side facing me and not the side facing you. Line it up with the line connected to the rod, okay? So this line's connecting to the rod. This is the loop with the tag end facing me, the loop facing you. And you wanna place the line on the rod on the side facing you so that you have this tag end still able to move over here. Take this, wrap it through the loop and around the main line. Do it again. Okay, now you cinch that down, like so. Pull up on the main line. Bam, you've got a uni knot. And you'd cut that extra tag end off. So I did two, two wraparounds, just for the sake of the rope and it's like thickness. Normally, what I do is anywhere from five to seven wraparounds. Five is typically recommended. I do seven just because it's a little stronger. That one, super simple, super effective. I would say stronger than the Palomar. Uh, I typically use the Uni for anything that's moving through the water, anything that's not constantly making bottom contact because it swims straight. So an example of a hook or a lure that I would use it on would be this because you can see how here at the top it's in line with the lure. So yeah. Next we're going to do the Palomar knot. Palomar knot. Take tag end, pull it through, back through the eye of the hook, then with this loop, big loop here, tag end to main line here, over the top of itself, over the hook or the lure, back over the top of itself here, and then you just pull it tight. What you should have at the end is a knot with the loop going over the top of itself. So I like to use the Palomar knot for bottom contact jigs over the uni knot. So an example of a hook that I would use a Palomar knot on would be like one of these hammer hooks. So you can see here's the hook and you see how the eye of the hook is in line with it. Yeah. So a hook like this is what I would use a Palomar knot on or a jig with a hook eye in the same fashion. Wow, thanks Gary, now I can catch fish better, yay.